Hi, I'm Barry Foster. And I'm Gary Foster. And welcome back to Antipodean Journey. This is episode number 16 with UP Languio. And today a very big uh, home game in the Copa del Rey first round against first division side Getafe, which is going to be a well, toughy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very it's, toughy. <laughs> it's going to be a, uh, a big event, but... Um, Confidence is relatively high at the moment because in our previous two games that we played offline, uh, we did something quite unique and kept two clean sheets. Uh, 5-0 win over Samosas, which featured a hat-trick from uh, Mr Perez, I think, wasn't it? Alejandro it, Perez? It was in the 49th, 89th and 93rd minutes. Yeah, we... Um, uh, yes, everything just clicked. And then in uh, against Real Sporting B, we had a nil-nil draw. Um, XG and numbers would suggest that we deserved a win, but considering they were coming third at the time, uh, we were happy to take a point off them. But um, our position really hasn't improved because a few of the other teams around us actually picked up wins, so it pushed us down the table. But... Um, it's it, all up for grabs. It did. It is. We're um, sitting in 17th position on 14 points. We're uh, four points from safety, so it's been a little bit frustrating with those other teams near us picking up uh, vital uh, wins and uh, uh, points as well. But that's the way it went. And, and uh, it's funny, with the board, we were um, given an F, then they, they changed it to a C-. minus. Um, and unfortunately, I think because of that, um, that nil-nil result in the last game... We're back to being an F. Yeah, a bit disappointing. It is. It is. The supporters, funny enough, are still s- sticking with a C, which does surprise me. But the board are uh, once again, I think, uh, running out of patience with us. So um, we're still skating on thin ice. But um, we're, we're still alive and kicking anyway. So um, a big game in the Copa del Rey. OK, well, let's go and play Getafe. And here's our uh, starting 11 for today's cup game. Quite a few changes because we've only just played a game three, three, uh, three days previously. Torre mm. in goal, Urenga, Monjanal, Garcia and Rodriguez across the back line. Mariscal sitting behind Pavita, Sanchez and Perez in midfield. And another Perez and Oscar will lead the attacking line. Let's go and chat to the boys. OK, well, when you've got a situation like this where we're the, the clear underdogs, I mean, nobody does expect us to get a result, so I think we should go with that, just be calm about the whole thing. And, um, yeah, all the pressure seems to be, or well, hopefully, lifted off them. Well, the pressure will certainly be on Getafe to get a result here. Um, be interesting to see what the crowd's going to be. Oh, pathetic. Oh, yeah. 290. Gee, you'd expect a, a little bit more than that. Well, you'd expect almost a full house against yeah. first division, um, uh, first division opposition. That's right. Uh, it could have been a nice little financial earner for the club, but yeah. um, anyway, not to be. Certainly a missed opportunity there. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> um, it's Getafe in quite an unusual colour strip, almost yeah. pinkish, pink esque. Whoops! And Ooh. he missed it. Okay. He blew it. Yes. That was a good opening opportunity for the visitors, but um, it's breezy and wet, so maybe the maybe the crowd have stayed away. <laughs> Staying in the bars and taverns and having a warm drink, mm. but um, at least we've held out for the opening nearly ten minutes. Yeah. Oh, Perez. Good interception by Perez. Now here's the other Perez. He can play it long, and he does. Maybe oh, oh, Oscar oh. can. Oh, oh, he had geez. an opportunity there. Thought he was going to take an extra touch. To the, beat the keeper. There was a gap on the near yes. post. Damn. Well, that was a good opportunity, but um, <clears throat> we couldn't take it now a corner. And we just love our corners. We do. We do. We've lost our near post. Oh, Monjanao, big header. Yeah, but top of the box. We haven't cleared it. No. Oh, oh, there, there it is. Crowd of players. And Getafe get the early goal. Yes, well, um, our central defender did get his head to the ball, but unfortunately, straight back to um, Vieira. Yes. And his teammate turned rather nicely and found the back of the net. Yes, one of my bugbears where defensive headers always go straight to the opposition. But anyway, okay, well... um, 
It's not a disaster. No, we can do a little bit of encouragement. I think we will because um, plenty of football left in this game and as uh, Oscar did show, we could we could uh, expose them. Hmm. Perez. And here's Oscar again to David Sanchez who's chipped him but oh, oh, a little bit too high and wide. Oh, damn. Well, we've let them off the hook again. Yes. But um, maybe playing a slightly uh, long ball mm. is the way to go against these good teams. Yeah, cautious. But uh, a free kick and a header that sails over the bar. So maybe 15 odd minutes left in this half. Only one goal to nil. No, we've done well. We've done well. We have. We've had very little possession. They've had five corners to zero. That irks me. Yeah. It would be and nice to, to have got a corner. But, um, you know, we're still at the dance. We've still got a chance. Yeah, we are still dancing. In a fashion. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, this is uh, Ica Rodriguez. Now, Perez, don't lose it, mate. Don't yeah, lose it. And he's yeah, just lost he's it. done that, but uh, not a good ball there. Now, Garcia pumps it long. And another Perez. Uh, another Perez. He hmm. did get the ball, but lost it very quickly. So it's uh, Getafe with possession. Oops. A lot of confidence Whoops. over the top. Uh, oh, good save by Torre. Torre, yeah, starting to come into his own. He's put in some good performances of late. Well, he stopped his grumbling. He's, yeah. he's training better. Yeah, he's... Yeah. And I must admit, he's playing better. Oh. Oh. Well, wow. yeah, okay. <laughs> by better, we mean... Can we blame him for that? Well, let's uh, have a look at the replay. A um, good injured player as well. But the corner... Oh, he flapped at it, didn't he? Well, he got a pull to it. That's all he could do. And then he was well and truly out of position. Yeah, no. I can't blame him for that. No, I can't. No, I mean, no. that's just one of those things. Damn. Okay. That's a shame. Yeah, so close to half time, But um, one of their players is limping around. We probably won't see him in the second half. No. But hopefully we won't... Oh, what, what on earth are you doing, Pavida? He's, That's the second time you've done that. Oh, uh, dear. It'll be a red. Yeah. You bloody clown. He's done it again. He, he has indeed. Well, okay. Very quickly, we'll just uh, bring those boys across. We'll get to half time. Yeah. But uh, that's really disappointing. That's uh, something he's done twice now this season. Yeah, and the first time was after about four minutes. Uh, exactly, it was very early. Put us under a ton of pressure. Okay, 2-0 to Getafe. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, half time, we're going to point the old finger. Lots to choose from. We're going to go right to the very bottom. There's no pressure on the boys because of the red card. Give it your best. Mm. And we've made a substitution. Oscar has come <laughs> off and uh, Mariscal has... Uh, sorry, Barzak has come on. Playing in a, uh, a defensive midfield role, but um, an early corner to defend. Yes, I think the boys are definitely going to be up against it here in this uh, second half. But, oh, uh, yes, unfortunately, yeah. just over the bar. But still, there's still plenty of uh, time left to maybe grab two goals. Well, yes, yeah, so we just need uh, Perez to. Recapture his form from a couple of uh, games ago when he we did do. that trick. <laughs> we we do. He's, he's not consistent though. No. Yeah, but they're all playing quite poorly. Yeah, look, um, they, yeah, that look, um, Garcia really struggling in centre of defence. Yeah, That's, might have to yank him. But um, okay, we made a quick uh, substitution with uh, David Fernandez coming on in the centre of defence. Not the quickest central defender, but at least he's uh, got a little bit of fitness about him. But once again, it's Getafe controlling possession. Yeah. Yeah, the, the options that we have actually aren't all, that, um, aren't all that vast at the moment. No, no. Um, but we knew this was going to be a pretty difficult game. 
Oh, two nil down. I mean, we can't be uh, can't be too disappointed. And that's Mongena with another header. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, oh, gee whiz. Well, that's clever play. It was. Got it back to the keeper. So, Perez, you're all on your own, so I'd be getting further up the field if I were you. Yes, he's got a maybe... Uh, well, he's supposed to be leading as a poacher. Oh, I mean, Urangas his... had a pair, poor game again. Yes, look, he has, obviously, playing this sort of opposition is a little bit too much for him. And deep cross, but that's over the bar. Well, both... Um, I think Uranga and one of our other young players, they've both been criticised in the press by uh, an ex-Langrio legend. Uh, that was a little bit unfortunate, but um, we've got confidence in them at least. OK, we've rolled the dice with our final substitutions. Probably won't make any difference. No, but uh, trying to um, minimise the damage, I think, so... Langrio in possession. Yes, well, may hopefully a, a positive highlight for us. It'd be nice to get a, uh, at least a goal against uh, Getafe. But this is David Fernandez, and he, well, he decides to play it all the way back to Torre. Oh, he can do that, providing yeah. they don't give away possession here. And he plays it long, looking for David Sanchez, and he's found him, oh. and he's scored a goal. <laughs> <laughs> Go the boys. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> it's not over. Maybe with 15 odd minutes left in the game, two goals to one. Yeah, no, that. Um, yeah, no, that's a good reward. Good reward. Good strike. It was. In fact, I thought he was going to put it high, but he uh, he found the back of the net beautifully and uh, gives us a glimmer of hope that maybe we can do something. Well, but here's another corner for the visitors. Long and deep. Free header, but um, mm. he butchered that. Yes, free header. He uh, he should have got at least on target. And considering all the shots that uh, Getafe ha have had, we're lucky to be this close, I think. Do you want to go attacking? Oh, we can give it a crack, yeah, why not? Why not? Got nothing to lose from the dying minutes of the game. Are we going to see another highlight? But I must admit, 28 shots to five, they have dominated mm. this game. There's no doubt about this. But um, Mr. Ruiz, he plays it long, but unfortunately to no one. Mm. Well, no one from our team. And Getafe with maybe another attack before the full-time oh, whips the in the it in. But Rodriguez, he did a pretty good job of hacking that away. Yeah, lots of uh, Gattafi shirts there everywhere. I think we're chasing shadows at the moment. Oh, they are, they are. But he oh. is a good move. Oh, good save by Torre. Got a big pour down to that. Yeah, that's right. He's done well. He has, I must admit. He's, <coughs> he's rating 7.1, so he's... Done pretty well in, in goals. Yeah, you know you're under the cosh when you keep us the man of the match. Mm, true. But they're uh, taking their time with this corner. Yeah, come on, ref. And uh, cleared by oh, David Fernandez oh, again. Oh, no. No more highlights. Well, I think that's going to be it. Oh, well, here we go. Corner for UP Langrio, uh, but no. Once again... Couldn't find the man on the uh, the near post. Well, they're holding play up. They're stalling for time. I think they are. I think they're quite happy to, to go away with a 2-1 victory. They're breaking forward now, though. Always yeah. offside, surely. Oh, oh damn. Well, Killer that's, punch. Killer that's punch. a bit unfortunate to concede a third yeah. so late in the game. But um, that's football. Yes. Look, not disgraced. They, um, we... Probably would have liked to have seen a, a better result, and Pavito has uh, let us down again with that uh, sending off in the second half. Whether mm. that would have changed the result, um, problematic. Well, I don't think it probably would have, but um, at least we did score a goal against them, which was uh, at least something, only consolation, I know. But um, that's it, three goals to one, Getafe knocking us out of the uh, the first round of the Copa del Rey. Let's go and chat to the boys. Mm. OK, we're just going to be uh, rather calm and tell the boys that they were the underdogs, but they gave it their best effort. 
And I think they seem to like that. Yeah. So let's go and see who we're going to play next. Well, we're about to enter into, into a, uh, a mid-season break here for about 16 days. Our next game is uh, not until Real Oviedo Vetusta. And that's going to be an away game in 16 days' time. So that'll be the next uh, the game we're going to show in our next video. Probably just as well we're having this break. Yes, yes. We need a, we need a Christmas break full of good cheer and hopefully the board will... You know, be benevolent uh, when we come back. Well, hopefully we'll still be in the job when uh, when we uh, when the boys come back from their break, because we are languishing in seventeenth position on only fourteen points. But that's the uh, the video for today. Um, I think not a uh, not an embarrassing defeat to Getafe in the cup game, only three goals to one, and we had to make a lot of changes to the uh, the starting eleven because of our fitness concerns. But we hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. That, that would be really great. Until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. All the best now.